Authorities in the Dnipropetrovsk region will not let through any humanitarian relief convoys to Donbas region. This decision was made in a meeting at the Ukrainian Interior Ministry's Regional Police Department. Zaporizhia and Kharkiv are to have similar meetings soon, the Ukrainian media said. Seems Kyiv want to prevent all humanitarian relief convoys from reaching Novorossiya. Russia Sivodny International Information Agency unveiled a memorial plaque in honor of Andrei Stenin, the agency's photojournalist who killed by Ukrainian army while performing his professional duties near Donetsk. On Monday, December 22nd, Andrei would have been 34. The ceremony was attended by the head of the Federal Agency for Press and Mass Communications Mikhail Sislavinsky, Director General of the VGTRK Media Holding Oleg Dobrodeev, and by Stenin's colleagues from media organizations that have also lost journalists in the Ukrainian conflict. The Prime Minister of Finland believed that his country should not join NATO at this stage and proposes friendship with Russia. I would not talk about joining NATO, we will make this decision democratically when the time is right, the Finnish Prime Minister Kai Goran Alexander Stapp said. It is important to maintain good relations with Russia, he added. Same time, France won't play its role in the international arena, withdraws from NATO and stop being under the towel of the United States. Such a statement was made by Bruno Golnisch, a EU parliament member and one of the leaders of France's National Front Party, to the French television channel iTele. Earlier, president of the National Front Party, Marine Le Pen, as well as the party's deputy in the French National Assembly, Marion Maréchal Le Pen, already spoke for France's withdrawal from NATO. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.